Bonjour, I am here in Paris and I'm only here for a really short amount of time. I was supposed to be in London, but somehow ended up here. I know, sad story, right? I will be here at the end of the month with Samantha. This is a new hotel to me. So again, we are going to do a quick little room tour. I've been here before in Petty and I actually stayed at a hotel like literally one block over. Let's do this room tour. Right behind me is the front door. Okay, we are gonna do this lens. So to the right, you have, well, that is a door. Um, large mirror, which is a closet. There is a hair dryer, a robe, a slippers that I will definitely be using. There's a little shoe um, thing. And um, what is this? A little sewing kit if you wanna do dry cleaning. And then to the left is the bathroom. And we have the shower. And once again, we have this like quarter door action. And it's a tub with one of those shower guys. And yeah, again, it I just can never get my shower hard enough. And I really love scorching hot showers. The sink, the amenities, which I don't use because I bring my own. Towels, Kleenex, the bathroom, toilet. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it doesn't close. Like, it's just an open door kind of deal. And then this is a sliding glass thing. Yeah. And then to the right, there's like this little coffee bar. Maybe I should buy some like ramen if they have ramen that I want here. Oh, okay. And little instant coffees. No plastic water, still water. And I'm guessing, yep, sparkling water. Open this little door here. There is a safe and a bar tech. Bar tech fridge, which I will definitely be using because I am gonna find some food. Bed, table, I brought those waters. I wanna say this is a king. Freaky little lights that looks like bubbles. Over here is another mirror, which I appreciate. Not a lot of hotels like have more than like like one or two mirrors besides the one in the bathroom. So appreciate that. I will get ready here. Here is my suitcase. And my view is like, okay, I asked for a city view, but what I should have asked for is like the highest foot that they'll give me with the Eiffel Tower view. I have no idea in which direction the Eiffel Tower is, but look how cute these little flats are. These are little apartment houses. But yeah, that's the room. I feel like this needs to be a thing now. So I sat on it earlier and it's pretty comfy, but let's see. I hope I don't get whiplash. Here we go. Oh, she has a cute little bounce to her. This lighting is horrible, but anyways, I just got off the airplane, got here in like 30 minutes. There wasn't a lot of traffic. I did not sleep on the plane. I probably fell in a deep sleep for like five minutes and then that's it. I just, I don't know, was anxious or something, but I'm gonna go on a quick little run. I found a cute little um, vegan cafe. Yeah, I'm gonna go run to it. It's two miles away. Uh, I figure run it off. But also I wanna point out that <laughs> Um, two days ago, I was in Ontario and I got these cool new running shoes. I've been in the market for new running shoes because the ones that I have, they were just like sneakers for looks. Got these bad boys. I thought I was going to pay $99 for them. They were actually 60 bucks. So big fan about that. Very big fan. I wore them out of the store. I literally took off my shoes and put these ones on. I put mine in the recycle box thing that they had in there. But yeah, I'm gonna put them to use right now and go for a run two miles. I can do it, right? And then after that, I'm gonna stop by that cafe and have a little cappuccino, maybe some pastries, definitely pastries. 
This lighting is so bad, but let's go. Okay, I'm out of breath, but I was running. My first stop is Land and Monkeys. Everything is 100% vegan. Very excited about it, and let's see. So here we go. I found the cutest little vegan cafe. Everything is 100% vegan. This is Samantha, I'm taking you here. But they had a ton, a ton of pastries. I had to stop myself from ordering so much. But I got basically like a, a cheese panini. I got like a, a raspberry pistachio tart pastry, a marble cake, and a chai latte. I'm very excited for everything. I might buy some more before I leave. I didn't even realize to like play, but like these plates are so cute. They're like ceramic and oh so dainty and cute. I'm like so ready to dig into it. There's this coffee book, coffee book, this cookbook right there. I really wanted to get it because it's a you know, vegan uh, vegetarian cookbook. It's on French. Wow, this raspberry pistachio. It's so good. They probably thought I was super crazy because I got so much stuff and then I got more stuff, but that is the cute little bakery. And now I'm gonna go to the thrift store. Wow, I got this olive bread. I don't even like olives. And this smack. It's so good. Like, I wish I got two. I didn't know if I was gonna like it, cause again, I don't like olives. But you know what? I'm here, I wanted to try it. My eye is watering. But wow, this is, might be gone. Cause I was gonna get it, is gonna eat it for breakfast, but I think it is gonna be gone by then. Looks like I uh, stumble upon a market. Cute. So many cute things. Everything in this uh, farmer's market smells so delicious. But I don't have any euros to purchase anything. It's not like I can ask them like, oh, do you guys have Apple Pay? <gasps> Peonies. These are my favorite flowers. The white ones though. White peonies. Oh, these smell so beautiful. I was trying to go to a restaurant over there called Veganism. Their hours changed. It's different from what it says online. They open in like maybe 40 minutes. I just ran into the most beautiful park that I've ever seen. And I definitely want to come back here and just like sit and do nothing. Honestly, I just want to sit here and do nothing. Wow. I have found myself in a grocery store because what else do you do when you're out of the country? Um, I did see a bunch of fruits, pomegranates, for like three dollars, three euros. I'm trying to find the cheeses. What happened? I took a little nap and now I'm gonna go again. I definitely took a little nap, well needed, because I was getting a little tired. But got my second wind and now I am heading to the Notre Dame. Last time I was here, it was like, maybe like a few months after it was like partially burned. So I'm gonna go check it out. There was also this thrift store that I had seen or had gone to. And I think about it all the time because it had like five Euro denim jackets and stuff. So I'm gonna try to find it, but I just wanna be in that area. And then the sun sets at like 9.54 tonight. So let's see if I make it 
to that time. Yeah, I am trying to get to the subway, the tube station, whatever you want to call it, right now. I stopped in this little golf store. It, there was no AC and I was getting very overwhelmed and very hot. So had to leave. Now I'm going. The metro should be right here. Okay, back when I ate me in my favorite steak fleets place, which I dream about to this day. This is right here. If you're ever in Petty, please go there. It's so good. There's like one thing on the menu, it's just fries and steak and this green sauce or this sauce. I don't even I can't even remember it's green. But it's delicious. So I got a little lost because I went the wrong direction. Um, I saw two trains coming, so I went with my gut feeling and I just took the one that was there. It was the wrong one. But it's honestly the trippiest thing right now. It's like 8 p.m. but it is full force daylight. Just got off of the yeah, metro and she looks like she's still under construction but she's so beautiful. I stumbled upon that thrift store called Three Piece Star. There's no AC anywhere. I had to like put up my hair and I'm like sweating. I'm on my way to another vintage store. I think this is the one that I went to. It's right here. It's right. Either way, it's called Vintage by Ramen. Hopefully this is it. Got a pair of tan shorts for five euros. Oh yeah, 1000%. This is the thrift store that I remember going to. Like these racks are like five euros. Okay, never mind. Uh, definitely have to go there again. That is 1000% the one that I went to. Online, it says that they close at 10 p.m. and it is only 8.33. Whatever, it's fine. There's a few others that I wanna go to and it's I'm starting to get hungry, so. Okay, there's like three more that I wanna hit up and then we find food. So a lot of stuff is closing soon. I had to wait for this restaurant for like 20 minutes, which is fine. I was researching all the things that I want to do, but um, I wanted to get to a grocery store to get food. I don't think that's gonna happen tonight. So hopefully there's enough to, to bring back. And then tomorrow I was trying to find some vegan um, bakeries or cafes in the morning. A lot of them are closed on Sundays or they open at like 10.30 or 11, which I leave at 10 a.m. And the, um, the bakery that I went to today opens at 7.30, but on Sundays they're closed. So good thing I bought some extras. And hopefully I have enough food to take back tomorrow. Lighting is starting to get bad, but I just want to say this restaurant, it's called Gapunka Vegan. 10 out of 10. 10 stars, 10 gold star stickers. The green curry was amazing, and that mango sticky rice, so good. It's like the best that I've had in a while. A lot of issues that I've been running into with sticky rice is that the rice is like too tough like either undercooked or like overcooked to the point where it's like just hard grains. This one, soft, has enough coconut juice but not overpowering. And the mangoes, perfect. Everything was amazing here. Definitely suggest going here. When Samantha and I come here, I'm gonna drag her here just so she can have this place. I'm ending the night at the tower. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I didn't really vlog that much. I did everything that I needed to do. I ate, had some vegan breakfast, which I ran to, and then took a nap. 
went to go shopping. And then got some dinner. The only thing I didn't get was a crepe, but I can save that for next time.